In Korean baseball culture, winning isn't everything. Fans want to be entertained. 한국에서 열린 메이저리그 월드 투어 서울 시리즈가 전 세계 야구 팬들을 설레게 만들며 마무리됐습니다. 이번 서울 시리즈는 지난 연말부터 한국과 미국뿐만 아니라 전 세계 야구계의 최대 화제였습니다. 선수들과 가족들은 한국 관광을 작정인화한 듯 서울 곳곳을 돌아다니면서 SNS에 업로드를 했고 선수들은 숙소가 있는 여의도에서 지하철을 타고 광장시장, 명동, 광화문, 강남으로 돌아다니며 먹는 것, 쇼핑한 것을 계속해서 실시간으로 업로드했습니다. 가장 기대했던 K길거리 음식에서도 감탄이 쏟아집니다. 한국식 핫도그, 회오리 감자, 문어 호떡, 떡볶이, 어묵 등 끝없는 먹방이 펼쳐지기도 했습니다. LA타임스 기자는 선수들을 따라다니며 서울 관광을 취재했고 그 열기가 대단했다고 전했습니다. One of the things we've heard from almost every player with the Dodgers is how much they've enjoyed exploring around Seoul. A lot of them have gone to the night markets. The food, I couldn't even tell you what we had. Like, started out with the potato tornado, which was awesome. When it was half cheese, half Cajun. There was Oreo churro. Okay. That was, that, that was fire. That, that was... Everything was really good, obviously, but that, that stood out the most. And even just the daily going out, trying to find places to have dinner, trying to find things to do outside the ballpark, A, it's a good team building thing for a team that has a lot of new faces, that's facing a lot of expectations, that's been really under the microscope. So it's a good chance for everyone to, for the new guys to get to, you know, bond in with everybody and know, uh, you know, know how we do things. And just the, right. in this type of setting, you know, you have to be close because there's not much you can do out on your own and um, you know so it gives us the chance to just kind of see everything that we're doing. 선수들은 서울 시내를 누비고 다니며 한국 여행의 즐거움을 만끽했는데요. 그런데 선수들이 가장 놀란 건 경기장에 와서였습니다. 선수들이 구장 분위기에 완전히 반해 버렸기 때문입니다. On top of that, they've really enjoyed the atmosphere in the ballpark. The way the fans interact with them during the game, the way that they're cheering and their atmosphere here compares to and differs from, you know, a typical MLB stadium. Here's a look from left field, got the cameraman. Really nice stadium, I mean, under 17,000, but these fans get loud. Cool seats here, almost like the home run seats at Dodger Stadium, just one row of seating here on these rails. And of course, the Korean section was so lit. These fans. <목소리도> 이 중에서도 가장 주목받은 건 한국 응원 문화였습니다. 미국 뉴욕 타임스는 서울 시리즈를 앞두고 한국의 독특한 야구 문화를 조명하는 특집 기사를 냈습니다. 뉴욕 타임스는 소리지를 준비를 하라. 한국에서 야구 팬이 되는 법이라는 제목의 기사에서 모두가 하나 된 집단 응원이 발산하는 에너지와 연대감이 경기를 오롯이 즐길 수 있도록 만들어준다고 전했는데요. 실제로 경기장 분위기를 체험한 기자들은 모두 응원단과 한국 응원 문화에 놀라며 실시간으로 현장 상황을 전했습니다. What is up, Dodgers Nation? D-Mag here. We're back at the Sky Dome where the Dodgers are playing their first exhibition game of the Soul Series, taking on the Kiwum Heroes of the KBO. This crowd is absolutely electric here to see Otani take on their hometown team. And this crowd, these fans, they are next level. Just check out these cheering sections. We normalized this. Look at this beer chugging competition here. These two ladies sipping these beers. This needs to happen. Dodgers Stadium, bring this back. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Do micheladas, do beers. Lady on the left, she just absolutely just destroy her competition. New York Times는 미국은 스타 선수가 아니면 관심조차 주지 않지만 한국 야구장에선 신인들도 스타 대접을 받는다. 타석에 오르면 선수마다 맞춤형 응원가가 흘러나온다라고 했는데 
실제로 선수들은 한국에 와서 스타 대접을 받고 어안이 벙벙한 모습입니다. James, so talk about this experience. You guys are rock stars. Just getting off that plane, everyone just around you. Just what's that been like? It's been fun. It's been uh, the experience has been uh, you know great. It's I've never been to a foreign country, especially one this far away. So so different. It's also very very similar in a lot of ways too. But uh, it's it's been amazing. The, the fans here, they love baseball. They're really into the game, and, and uh, I'm really appreciative for the opportunity to play here. Did you notice the cheers during the game, the dance team? They had songs for Mookie and Otani. I mean, did you hear the drums? What was that like? I thought it was fun. I, uh, you know, it's it's uh, keeping everybody active in the game. Uh, the only song I remember hearing was Jason Hayward's. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because I remember, I remember hearing them say his name in the song. Uh, but yeah, like the, the heroes, they had some sweet songs playing for them. Uh, like the chant of the crowd was saying, I can't imagine what this place would be like when it's packed. 특히 먹는데 진심을 다하는 한국인만큼 구장마다 특색 있는 길거리 음식도 다뤘는데요. LA 타임스에서 취재온 기자는 구장에서 파는 음식에 홀딱 반해서 마치 한국 길거리 음식을 취재하러 온것 같았죠. I think it's very important for us to go and check out what the food options are here. Now, one little thing, I do have the palate of a five-year-old, and not like a five-year-old that likes fruit and vegetables, like a five-year-old whose mom very lovingly. raised him on mostly meat and potatoes, but I will not eat any fish products, and if something is not fried, I might vomit. Next, I'm going to try this thing called excitement. I don't know what excitement is. Turns out, it's a pouch filled with ice cream, similar to the applesauce pouches my children eat. But unlike my children, I am not smart enough to figure out how to make it work, so I tried for a long time to suck this ice cream out. Couldn't make it work. Moving on. Next was cast beer. It was being advertised everywhere. I had to try it. I'm a journalist. It's called due diligence. And let me tell you, it tasted like college. Cheap. Back to the excitement pouch. I am needing this thing. I am trying to get it to melt. I want some ice cream. And finally, success. Pretty good. Got into this long line. Had no idea where it was going. But about 15 minutes later, I arrive at barbecue and mom's touch, where there's people arguing about something. And I must have looked like this, because one very nice gentleman behind me told me in English they had run out of everything. everything. Popped into another really long line that was going to BHC. It was a chicken joint where it was a large box of basically boneless chicken wings with some spicy sauce on top. It was delightful. Next we went here where I got a whole bunch of different things to try. The dumpling croquettes, the tornado potatoes, and a Cajun sausage. First up the Cajun sausage. Not Cajun enough for my taste to be honest with you. Next was the tornado potato. It was pretty good. Not gonna lie. Difficult to eat. Stab myself. multiple times. Next were the dumpling croquettes, where it came with a little bit of soy sauce that you dipped it in and then you looked in the inside and you thought, it tastes okay, I'm not going to think about what this looks like. Last I went to Altong where I got a chicken skewer, a lot of chicken, a lot of hot sauce, a lot of deliciousness. Very hot. This is honestly what it looked like. Very hot. Overall, a lot of cool new foods I tried. Most of them were really good. My mouth is still on fire. 다른 기자들 역시 구장 푸드코트에 대한 극찬이 이어집니다. It comes to food options here at the Sky Dome. There's tons of different types of foods to choose from. You've got eggs, you have tempura, you have tons of different Korean food options throughout the stadium. And it's different than a MLB ballpark, where it's just hot dog and hamburgers and nachos and things like that that we see at Dodger Stadium. But you still have the hot dogs as an option here. You got a chili dog, you have a garlic dog. But I have not seen a long line for the hot dog since I've been here. This is the spot that has the longest line. The shrimp chef. This place has a line around the corner. Gonna have to try. So here's the beer that's really popular here, but and this is the most popular food here, the shrimp chef. Here's a look at this shrimp. I tried it. It was fantastic. They just poured this nice special sauce on. It makes it taste delicious. Great stuff. Highly recommend. And I love these beer guys. These are the beers. The beer vendors going around. They wear these full uniforms with the pinstripes, and they beer you right on the spot. Love this. 특히 뉴욕 타임스가 집중한 것은 팀이 지고 있을 때 반응이었습니다. 미국의 경우 팀이 지고 있으면 욕을 하거나 시무룩한 표정으로 관중석이 조용한 게 당연하다. 그런데 한국은 팀이 지고 있을 때 응원가와 구호를 더 크게 외친다. 패자를 위로하는 것은 한국 팬 문화의 특징이다. 미국 팬들은 점수 차가 너무 벌어지면 낙담해서 일찍 떠날 수도 있지만 한국 팬들은 마지막 순간까지 구장에 머문다며 놀라움을 전했습니다. 그런데 구장 분위기를 직접 느껴본 기자들 역시 이러한 한국 문화가 가장 놀라웠다고 전합니다. 
Dodgers Nation, DMAC here, boy, live from Seoul, South Korea, where the Dodgers, they beat the Kiwoom Heroes of the KBO by a final score of 14 to 3. Yes, it was a blowout win by the Dodgers, but that wasn't the story. The story today was the atmosphere, the electricity and the fans here in Korea that came out to support these two teams and just how famous the Dodgers are. They had specific songs that were recorded for Mookie Betts, for Jason Hayward, for Shohei Otani. Otani didn't have his best day, taking some big daddy hacks out there, striking out on the high fastball up out of the zone. He strikes out twice, but even after he struck out, he still got an applause and an ovation from this crowd that was just so excited to see him. Now, you see the Dodgers banners, the players, the Padres, and the Dodgers throughout the entire stadium. Let's go Dodgers! Let's go Johnny! Let's go Yamamoto! Let's go Mookie Nets! Let's go Will Smith! Let's go Clayton Kershaw! Let's go! How about a Let's Go Dodgers Nation? Let's go Dodgers Nation! Dodgers yeah! Blue, bleed blue! Let's go. Oh, we got Johan Lee. Johan Lee, where'd you travel here from? Oh, I'm from uh, Korea. Korea? Yeah, I'm a university student at Johnson University. How long have you been looking forward to this game? Wow, since it has been published, it's been official that it's playing in Gotrek Sky Dome at uh, Ju Ju July, I believe. Since then, I've been anticipated for this game, wow. and it's a dream come true. How long have you been a Dodgers fan? Uh, since Hyunjin Ryu, I've uh, been a Dodger, so 2013. <laughs> 이렇게 본의 아니게 전 세계와 비교하고 보니 우리나라 응원 문화가 얼마나 특별한지 알수 있었는데요. 미국에서는 한국 야구 관련 문화를 수입하자고 난리가 났을 정도라고 합니다. 앞으로도 우리 좋은 문화가 많이 전해지길 바라며 오늘 준비한 소식 마치겠습니다. 여러분의 소중한 의견을 남겨주세요. 바쁘시더라도 구독과 좋아요 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 단골이시였습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.